Greetings! Uh, welcome back to our Laravel 5.2 uh, video tutorial series. So, I'm Chad, and this is uh, the part two of the uh, part two of the many videos that I'm going to give for you, uh, to you for free, of course. So, as promised, uh, this video will be about how to make a simple app in Laravel with registration, login, and a password reminder feature. So I'll show you how fast you can create an app like that with those features in just a few minutes. So basically before we start, we need to make sure that all the things that we need is uh, running. Uh, example, uh, we need to check if the sum is running the Apache is running the MySQL uh, database service running because we're going to use the MySQL database uh, to interact with our app so that it will store there the user information and the password receipt information so if you still remember uh, we created an empty database uh, in the video part one on how to install Laravel of course so we name it Laravel DB Practice and it's still empty. So it doesn't contain any table, but don't worry because we're going to, or I mean, I'm going to show you later how to fill it up with tables that we needed in order to have a registration feature in our app. And so you also need, need to check if the database is properly configured in our environment file. So we need to check like here, if you can see, we set it up to point to the local host, which is my computer, and then use the Laravel DB practice, which we created a while ago. Use the username root, username here. Uh, you can use any username you like, provided that it is properly configured to be allowed to use the database. So I think everyone is, I mean, everything we need is here. So let's proceed. So as I promised before, I will show you how to create an app in Laravel with registration, with login, and password reminder in just a few minutes. So if you notice, or if you can still remember, we created this one, practicelaravel.com with a simple homepage that says Laravel 5. It doesn't have registration yet. See, it doesn't have login yet. And it doesn't even have a proper home page yet. So I'm going to show you how to make that really fast. So basically, we're going to use an artisan command. What is an artisan command? It's a feature in Laravel where you can use it to automate a few, ta a few tasks in Laravel. So instead of building a lot of codes, you just use the artisan command and it will actually build it automatically for you so if you're going to use this PHP space artisan and enter you will see oops sorry I forgot you need to go to your application folder first which is the practice Laravel there so you notice if we're going to check that we have here the artisan command so if you type here PHP artisan you will see a lot of commands that you can use to automate a few things in Laravel. So, without any further ado, I will show you how to create the app. So, what we're going to type is PHP artisan space make out. Yes, just like that. This one line of command will create all the controllers, all the views that you need to have an app with registration. Uh, authentication and password reminder so when you type and enter you will see that it's creating the necessary files that you need so here we have the view for the login we have the view for the register the password email the password receipt the home the welcome and etc and that includes also the home controller which manage the registration and the login uh, functionality of your app so let us see if it's really working so here let's check if we have the home now 
there we have the home now okay we have the login if you notice we opened the home but since we are not yet logged in so it forwarded us to the login page so it's the same with the login if you click and then we have the registration page see it's just a few minutes seriously that's how e easy it is to create using an artisan command but of course this is not yet working as we still need to set up the tables okay if you rem if you can still remember the database we use is laravel db practice it's still empty so it doesn't do anything it doesn't save anything it doesn't retrieve anything or store anything at all because it's empty so we're going to create the table so in order to create tables we use migration command in laravel but before we use the migration command we need to make sure that the migration file is present and so how are we going to do that so we go to our app folder which is practice laravel and then we go to the database and we go to the migration folder and as you can see here we have the create users tables and create password receipts tables so basically because we already have this when we type the migrate command it will automatically create the user tables for us the password reset table for us so how are we going to do that we just type php artisan and migrate yes as simple as that but as i've said before make sure that this database is connected to your app this database by so making sure that it's really configured in your environmental file if it's not configured there it will return an error okay so let's try boom there migration tables created successfully so let's check if it's really added in our database so let's refresh and check there we have the users table we have the password visits password visits table and the migrations table so if you check select uh select asteris from users it's still empty right so we are going to see a value here after we register using our website so let's try if it's really connected or not so i type my name Oh, sorry. My keyword is actually funny today. So I will use my email, and then use my password, and register. Let's see if you are really registered. All right. So I think you are now. So you check home page. You are logged in. It says here dashboard. You are logged in cool right so let's see if it's really connected in our database so let's run oh there it is very very fast right just a few minutes imagine if uh, if we are using a native PHP and then we're going to make it from scratch imagine how long it will take you it will probably take you 8 hours 24 hours or most probably a day or two right yeah, <laughs> it's really fast. Okay, so we have here the log out. Okay, let's try if we can really log in. So we click the login and then we use the username which we created a while ago. And we click the login button. And yes, successfully, I'm forwarded to my dashboard. And then when I log out again, and then try to log in again but oops I kind of forgot my password so I think I need to retrieve it so we're going to click the forget your password and see if it really works okay but before that uh, let me uh, uh, give you a brief explanation about uh, emails in Laravel first we're using a local server so we are not using an email server so if we are going to use SMTP, it will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to change in our uh, environment file from SMTP to log. So it will mean that the email will not be sent 
via SMTP but will be stored to log because we don't have a mail server in our local computer. Not unless you have uh, an SMTP server somewhere that you can use, then that will work. So, for now, let's just use a log file. Okay, and then save. And then, to be sure, let's receive. Okay, or restart. So, now I'm going to type my email. And when we click the send password reset link, it should send uh, the password reset email to your email if you're using as in an SMT SMTP server or to your log file if you're using a log file as your mail driver. Okay, so let's see. There, we have emailed your password reset link. So it's really working. And then how to check? So basically, you just go to your uh, app, again, go to your storage, go to your logs, and here, Laravel log, you open it. So let's open. There. You see? So this is basically the email that you're going to receive, supposed to be, if you're using as M uh, an SMTP. But because we're using log, we just use this one. So to receive your password, you need to click this link. So basically, we just need to copy this. Copy, copy, copy. And then paste it here. So let's open a new browser and type. There. See? So... You can basically reset your password here now. So let's type new password one two three password one two three and then reset password just like that. And there you are, you're logging again. So that's how easy it is to make an app in Laravel with registration. Uh, with login security and password receipt so i hope you've learned something in my uh, video today and in my next video i will show you how to customize your registration page how to customize your login page and as we go along you will see a lot of stuff like how to make a uh, crude uh, application where you can add, edit, delete, and so on and so forth. Okay, so thank you and good luck.